Well, I'm on Coumadin, and prior to a surgery, you need to go off of Coumadin and bridge with Lovenox shots. I just felt like um, I was grateful to have it, to do it, as a precaution against uh, unexpected clotting when I was going off my warfarin. So it was really nothing. Once you do it, there's no pain. It might sting a little, but uh, there's nothing really to it. There are many reasons your doctor may prescribe an injectable anticoagulant medication for you. In this program, you'll learn the importance of taking it exactly as instructed, how to give the injection, possible side effects, and the signs and symptoms of clotting and bleeding. Anticoagulants help prevent clots from forming. There are several types of injectable anticoagulants. Daltaparin, brand name Fragman, Enoxaparin, brand name Lovenox, and Fondaparinox, or brand name Erixtra. People take injectable anticoagulants for various conditions, such as atrial fibrillation, heart valve replacement, a blood clot in a thigh or leg, a blood clot in a lung, or before a surgical procedure, such as total hip or total knee replacement. When a patient is initially diagnosed with a blood clot, like a pulmonary embolus or a deep vein thrombosis, they are generally started on warfarin, and warfarin is an oral anticoagulant that takes several days to build up in the blood to an effective therapeutic level. So in the interim, these patients are also started on injectable anticoagulants, which they take simultaneously, and they continue on the injections until they are safely anticoagulated with warfarin, and at that point, the injections can then be stopped. Patients are also uh, started on injectable anticoagulants when they are scheduled for an upcoming surgery or procedure and their warfarin needs to be held for several days. Um, it does take a while for the warfarin to um, be eliminated in the body. And the injectable anticoagulants work immediately and they do prevent blood clot formation while the patient is holding their warfarin. You're bridging because you're coming down off of your Coumadin. So your Coumadin level is dropping. And you wanna make sure that you still have protection from um, possible blood clots. I have to go off my uh, warfarin. I have to be off of it for five, five days before. And uh, so that's why I have to bridge. I have to have the shots. To begin, gather your supplies, including alcohol swabs, disposal container, pre-filled syringes, and ice if desired. Wash your hands well with soap and water and dry thoroughly. Sit or lie down you need to be able to easily see your abdomen. Do not inject into bruises or scars. Ice the area for several minutes to numb if desired. Alternate sides and location, two inches from your belly button toward the outside. Pull off the cap, don't twist it. Don't allow the needle to touch anything. A bubble inside is okay. Pinch your skin. Insert the needle straight in. Its short one half inch needle should enter fatty tissue only, not muscle. Press the plunger. Pull it straight out. Don't rub the area. Activate the safety cap. Dispose of the syringe and needle safely in your disposal container. Be sure to store your medication at room temperature. Do not store in the refrigerator or in a humid area like the bathroom. Always note the expiration date on the box before each use. The first time I was going to do it, my, I was going to have my daughter-in-law 
give it to me. I didn't think I could do it. And she froze up, and she couldn't do it. And here I was stuck there. And I thought, well, I have to do it. I'm not very um, afraid of needles, so that's not an issue for me. Um, they burn. The, the poke is not is not an issue, but it does burn. Um, so if you kind of expect that after the first one, um, then I expected it and it, it wasn't as bad. I, as I recall, my husband offered to do it. Is that correct? I believe so. And then we just in the conversations, we just uh, yeah. decided that'd be easier to do. And uh, yeah, I thought to it would be easier. And make sure you're rotating. You're not doing it all in one place. It's, um, it gets a little tender after a while if you're not rotating. It is very important to take these medications, the injectable anticoagulants, exactly as the physician has prescribed because they it do prevent blood clot formation and we want to maintain a steady level of medication in their blood and we do want to avoid potential unwanted side effects such as bleeding. Well, be consistent. You know, you're consistent with your Coumadin. You have to be consistent with um, the Lovenox. Anytime you take an anticoagulant, you must be alert to the major signs and symptoms of bleeding or clotting. If you have any of the following major signs of bleeding, call 911 or go immediately to the nearest hospital emergency department. These include excessive bleeding gums after brushing or flossing, coughing up or vomiting blood that appears like a coffee ground material, extensive bleeding with no known cause, blood in your stool that appears red, black, or tarry, blood in your urine that appears red, pink, or brown, or any unusual bleeding that doesn't stop. Serious clots can also form. If you notice any of these, call 911 or go immediately to the nearest emergency department. These include pain, swelling, warmth, redness, or a lump in your legs or feet. Increased shortness of breath or chest pain when breathing. Or signs of a stroke which includes sudden severe headache, sudden weakness or numbness, especially on one side, sudden vision changes, sudden dizziness, falling or confusion, or difficulty swallowing or speaking. I mean, I'm not young, and so my, I want to make sure I remember things. So I keep track of it every morning. I have a routine. I don't go off my routine when I'm on the shots. I didn't find it awful to do. It was just one of the things that I did every day. And I just accepted it as that. You, you just want to make sure that you just always have good protection from blood clots. Mm -hmm.